Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds And try to tear you down Pisces, my Pisces Hello, my dear Pisces My Pisces, Pisces Hello, my dear Pisces What's up, water babies? What's popping? Did you miss me? Because <laughs> I miss y'all asses Y'all know y'all my motherfucking babies Do you understand me? I don't care what they say about you, Pisces I don't care what they say Cause if what they said don't even fucking matter to me Cause I know you the illest, the realest, the sickest, the motherfucking That bitch, you the empress, honey I miss y'all ass, okay you got the, I, I started to start this video and say Pisces, take 600, 675 and, and three, listen Honey, I had to allow Mercury to get Get behind thee Because it was really fucking with me it was fucking with all this fire, stirring it the fuck up. And I, how about I recorded a Pisces video? Got 22 minutes in, the damn camera died, and decided, just fuck you, bitch. I'm not going to save any of that, okay? So I definitely feel um, that divine timing was truly at work. Uh, some of you all, the blue moon in Taurus could have been very significant, okay? So we're just going to jump into all that. Let me do my damn intro. Hey, boo, hey, this first time you're my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, this first time you're my channel, look out, I cuss. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, muy poquito. I don't know, but I damn sure know that I'm going to fucking curse. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to get the hell out of here now. This is not your channel, all right? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love, the donations, the reading requests, you guys, the emails, the text messages, checking in on me um, since I've had my wreck. You guys, you guys have been dope. Thank you so much. We are healing gracefully, honey. Okay? We're making some transitions. So, thank you guys for being patient with me as well. Also, this message ain't finna resonate with every damn Pisces. Okay? Take what does lead the rest. It's that motherfucking shoe is too big. Don't try and put it on because your ass gonna fall. Okay? Period. Also, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. Okay? Don't get in the comments coming for me trying to check. Don't, don't, don't send for me. Okay? Because I'm coming back and I'm going to bite your ass. All right, and I mean that in the most humblest way, cause folks been getting all cut. They been cutting the y'all. Some y'all not a Pisces, but some y'all cross watchers be cutting up in the motherfucking comment section, and you tell them I ain't the one, two, three, four, five, or six. Tell them what I said, Pisces. Don't be scared, okay? Also, you guys, this will be um, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the cross watchers with they talk, with they stalking and non talking asses, okay? The North Node of Pisces, as well as the Mercury and the Mars, okay? Um, so without further ado, also, if you're a new subscriber, hey, boo. welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional over here, okay? But we don't fuss and fight. We leave that shit definitely on other people's channel. Here we do love, we grow, we laugh, we cry sometimes. We enlighten, but positive vibes only we one big happy family, okay? So without further ado, we're going to jump right in because I had so many intuitive messages for you all for the month of November 2020, okay? Can this motherfucking year be over? Got me up here like that. Boom, boom. Is this thing on? Shit. Okay. Pisces. 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 All right. I definitely felt a lot of celestial energy from you guys this meditative session. Also, I feel the energy of eggshells. Some of you guys could be trying to keep the peace in the situation, but I feel like you're sacrificing a lot of your authenticity. I feel like some of you guys could be in this space of also being in this victimized complex. Not all of you, but some of you. Okay. I definitely feel the energy of some type of spill work backfiring or someone wanting to repent or someone wanting to um, reverse what has been done. Okay. I'm also picking up on the energy of like copycat, all right? Copycat. Some of you guys also procrastinating to move forward or get something done due to worried about the haters, the fucking who envious, who hating, who doing spell work, who copying. All of that shit is ultimately stopping your growth, okay? These people, one thing about a hater, they your biggest motherfucking fan. Them people believe in you more than your fucking ass do. Stop procrastinating, Pisces, okay? Also picked up on the energy of... Secrets within the family, okay? Some of you guys could be finding out the paternity of you could be a grown-ass adult, but stop finding out that your father is not your father. For some of you all, this could also have to do with some secrets surrounding inheritance, okay? So someone, in order to give you something, there's going to have to be some type of truth that's being revealed. I feel like for some of you all, you've already known this truth, but spirit is really hope. Okay, 
they're assisting you when it comes to your patience and just simply allowing things to happen versus because you know every damn thing or you know so much trying to control it because I feel like the weight of that burden is extremely heavy okay I also put, I felt a lot of like um mediator vibes Pisces I feel like some of you guys are really stepping into this nurturing energy as we go into the month of November after coming out of this space of hermit mode now some of y'all some of y'all is the opposite way around some of you guys are choosing to completely pull your energy back from unappreciative people who don't don't truly appreciate or have this sense of gratitude for your substance okay there's also this energy of you guys needing to save your money from some for some type of unexpected car expense okay um i did pick up on something traveling you know you finna travel and if you don't travel and you know some shit going on with your tires fix the problem okay fix the problem for some of you all in the midst of healing yourself you're starting to have um having some in the midst of you healing yourself there's a lot of um there's a lot of chaos and a lot of outside noise when it comes to other people feeling a certain type of way about your moves. But I feel like these are the same people who was okay with sitting with your ass when you were really um, vibrating in the lower aspects of yourself. Now that you've grown, these people feel like you acting funny. Spirit is wanting me to confirm the fact that you know that you are not aligned to these people. Stop dimming your light to have to, to be. To, stop dimming your light to share your light with their asses. Okay, because I feel like for some of you all, someone looks at you as a threat. I am picking up on family. I'm also picking up on a relationship. Some of y'all are sleeping with the fucking enemy. There's also this element of someone continuously being karmic to your finances. Every time you reconcile with this individual, things slow down for you. And spirit is trying to tell you this person is a taker. They're not going to give anything to you. Some of you all, I also picked up on a lot of ancestral like healing healing generational I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm saying like it is I hear curses healing generational curses okay this could have to do with sexual abuse also um, allowing narcissistic abuse the way that you see yourself based on how you were taught okay so that's going to be very important in the month of November also forgiving a mother figure I feel like some of you all you feel judged or there's this element of judgment when it comes to your parenting skills some of y'all could even live with someone else and I feel like you can feel this person's emotion you can feel this but some of you all feel as if you have to or you need this individual um, in order for this space of having security while you get on your damn feet but spirit is really pushing you to the most un pushing you to your limits and pushing you to the most uncomfortable space possible to make you change something within yourself that is causing you to procrastinate heal acknowledge and nobody has a time frame on how much they how long that they need to heal but spirit is saying don't stay there get up transform transmute that energy especially if you are a creator if you are a speaker if you are a healer i'm picking up on the energy of some of my pisces individuals who could be readers some of you guys could have set your cards down battling with religious beliefs but you've been having that nudge and that burning in your belly to make you get the fuck up and pick your cards up because you you have a greater purpose when it comes to healing healing the collective as we go into this space or this paradigm shift into the new world some of you guys you've been experiencing a lot of esoteric a lot of um a lot of esoteric revelations around information some of you guys this could also be you guys holding galactic information i am hearing galactical race war so some of you all could be conspiracy theorists conspiracy theorists or wanting to put something out regarding the extra extraterrestrial this could also be something that you're finding out within your lineage um, some of you all, I'm literally hearing test tube babies now. Take that how you want. But I feel like someone is finding out a huge secret about their lineage. This could even have to do with adoption, okay? But I feel like this, there's going to be this sense of peace or center, centering within self for the month of November to assist my Pisces with becoming grounded so that you guys can persevere because you're moving towards your destiny. I'm hearing your north node, okay? So let's jump into it with the intuitive messages that I wrote the hell down because that was a lot, honey. Okay? You guys, I got envy. Pluto and Scorpio. North Node. Forgiveness. Major money moves. Acceptance. Portals. Strategic moves. Procrastination. Scrying. Astral projection. New job. Genetic blueprint. Reconciling for stability. Lineage breaker. Secret drug addictions, mother issues, rapid manifestations, psychic attacks, court case, confidence, shady boots. Yes, that bitch is shady. Okay, that bitch ain't playing Pisces. I'll let that girl, I'm just playing. The bitch ain't playing. Cut that hoe. Okay, 
it ain't nothing to cut that. Mm, can't count that botch, okay? Um, financial blessings. Read the fine print. Start date. Incubus, succubus. Sex demons, okay? They in the building. Healthy boundaries. Retroactive. Shapeshifter. Rectification. Insurance fraud. Spiritual inheritance. Self-care. Love spell. Sex addictions. Obsession. Pampering. Sociopath. They watching. Theft. Blessed endeavors. Hidden motives. Exposure. Take your time. Use your discernment. Online boutique. Events coordinator. Collaboration. Okay. So Pisces. Hold on. Let me make sure that was everything. Yes, honey, that was everything, okay? A lot of crown chakra activity that I feel for you, Pisces. A lot of you all are taking this time. Some of you guys could be fasting from social media, okay? But there's a lot of um, activity around the crown chakra, a lot of rapid downloads, okay? Some of you all are also coming into some type of spiritual inheritance or some inheriting some type of um, spiritual ability. I'm literally hearing premonitions and telepathy, a lot of activity around the crown chakra in the third eye, okay? So we're going to go ahead and jump into your crystal oracle message uh, for the month of November to see what crystal could be helpful for you guys um as far as your um as far as your healing um you join me on your damn healing honey shit words tell y'all mercury had me fucked up i was gonna buy buy by tell that motherfucker how i felt now mercury was like nah bitch shut up but when she, when mercury leave i'm gonna be talking again pisces fuck spirit woman <laughs> what crystal message what crystal is going to be useful for my Pisces, Sun and Rising, Venus, North, No, Mercury, Mars for the month of November? What? Okay. You guys got Herkimer Diamond. One of the multi-dimensional stones. Y'all know how I'm chopping through these damn uh, oracle messages. We read them as is so that we can uh, clearly get the message, okay? Herkimer Diamond. Instant energy. Okay? Herkimer Diamond. Powerful energy generators that access and release past life information. Herkimer diamonds make excellent shields against geopathic stress and EMFs. This crystal works beyond the physical levels of being of being to bring harmony to the energy to the energy bodies and the soul. For a self-understanding, keep careful note of your dreams as they reveal the underlying cause of your dis-ease. You may be particularly sensitive to EMF frequencies, radioactivity, and detrimental earth energies. You may also be physically sensitive and need to clear a blocked third eye chakra. For divination use, check that you are not living on a negative earth energy line. You may be addicted to your tablet or mobile phone and receiving detrimental vibes therefrom. Screen yourself appropriately. For healing insights, high vibration, high impact energy can dramatically change your world. The frequency of this stone is extremely high. It's good for all of the chakras. For the timing is for those who um, are born in the spring and the soul path for seeing the light. Okay? I literally heard perspective shift. Shift your perspective. I feel like for some of you all, there's a need for you all not to hold on to the hurt, but see the underlying lesson, see the pattern of learned behavior, and see how how crucial it is for you to transmute this energy, this cycle, okay? Some of you all have been, again, giving um, access to higher dimensional realms or high, higher realms with, okay, higher realms. I'm also hearing esoteric information, esoteric in, uh, insight. Geometric shapes may also be, ge uh, ge uh, geometric or safe, sacred shapes may also be significant to some of you all, especially when it comes to connecting through your subconscious, okay? So your dreams are literally like decoding your past, but also your connection to a past life is what I'm picking up, all right? I'm also hearing pulling from the Akashic, okay? So some of you guys could be very interested in accessing the Akashic or some type of past life information. I keep hearing North Node, South Node, okay? So let's get some angel message, an angel message for my Pisces before we jump into the tarot. Angel message for Pisces. You guys got... Ha! Bitch! Okay, you guys got angel therapy, Archangel Raphael. 
give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens okay again i do feel this energy of knowing what it is that needs to be done knowing what it is that needs to be released but you guys having this fearful of doing so because there's there's no control or there's a lack of knowing the outcome okay so i feel like for some of you all this could also have to do with your creativity like you guys worrying about what could go wrong or looking at looking at what it is that is being given to you or that you, what you're being blessed with as a burden or as it's or running from it. there's an element of running from it running from your gift running from your destiny like for some of you all i did pick up on the energy of spell work but some y'all there is no spell work it's you against your damn self and I feel like you need to take some time and go into hermit mode and really, really, really get to the foundations of those shadows that are needing to be acknowledged, especially if they are anything having to do with mental illness. Okay? That's not addressed enough. And the country, the, the collective period is in an ill-ass mental space as a whole. And there's a need for you all to protect your energy, but at the same time, don't protect it to the point where you're not open to helping others because that's your purpose. Okay? Um, at the bottom of the deck, we got spiritual understanding, Archangel Raziel. I'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Again, that's sacred geometry. Some of you all are alchemists. Others of you are magicians. Some of you all are healers of the ages is what I'm hearing, okay? Some of you all are earth angels. I feel like adjusting to this earth frequency right now may be a bit difficult. Again, there's this need to pull back. Some of you all, I'm also picking up on fasting, Okay. Fasting. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty, honey. What's going on with my Pisces? Sun and rising Venus, crosswalkers, Mercury, Mars, North Node, Pisces, Pisces. What messages do you have for them for the month of November, 2020? Y'all, you know I can pull out the old school, old old faithful, handy dandy. For those of you who don't know, these were my first tarot cards that I ever started my channel with, so I had to get down to the basics with Pisces. All right, so let's see what's going on with my fishy babies. Yeah, some of you guys, some of you guys have been feeling that, especially if you live with another person, okay? If you're living with someone temporarily, I feel like someone's ready for you to go. Or this could be someone living in your home. You're ready for someone to go, but someone doesn't know how to speak up. This could also have to do with someone being compassionate towards someone's circumstance, but they don't see that this individual is trying to help their fucking self. I feel like someone becomes very complacent. I'm also picking up on someone projecting their lack mentality onto you and your dreams. There's a need for you all to shut the hell up when it comes to sharing your dreams, your plans with other people. Say nothing until it's it's already done finished these motherfuckers need to know when the world is moving okay i'm also picking up on the energy of some of you guys are, are making some type of final judgment when it comes to some type of family dynamic as well there could definitely be some truth regarding a family or some type of inherited money or something having to do with someone feeling as if you weren't ready i'm hearing you're not ready or someone making a decision for you as far as the finance i feel like someone acted from a space of greed and I feel like this karma is coming back to bite them in the ass. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. For others of you, this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, okay? I feel like for some of you all, some of y'all are also finding, somebody's also finding out that somebody been using them for stability, using them for money. This could be someone who is in some type of facility. So this could be someone who's in jail or someone who could also be in some type of like mental facility or someone could be calling you from there. Someone could also be wanting to reconcile with you. Okay, Pisces, some of y'all told somebody that some of you all already predicted someone's demise. And I feel like you separated yourself from this person. And now it's like the tower has hit. And I feel like this person is being reminded of you every day. I feel like this person could have also judged your spiritual beliefs or judged you for your beliefs. This could also be, uh, this could be someone's mother as well. I feel like someone could have uh, not been talking to their mother due to some type of um, information that they could have found out regarding their father, okay, or their birth father. I'm literally hearing some of you guys could have also been finding out, some of y'all could have found out that an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, a Libra, another Pisces, Aries, some of y'all could be finding out that someone has a child on the way. I feel like this individual could have lied to you about this in the past and made you feel like the other person is crazy. Somebody secretly been trying to keep... Yeah, somebody been trying to keep uh, some type of information regarding a child hidden because this person is really trying to, they're trying to protect their finances. This individual is also trying not to lose is what I'm hearing. 
Some of y'all are making, some of y'all also maybe may, may, uh, may be quitting your jobs in the month of November. I feel like some of you guys are making the damn decision to invest in your damn self. I feel like you intuitively already know. Some of you guys also, you could be a mother. You could have a son with someone. Someone wants to reconnect with you. Someone also wants to apologize like, you were the catalyst to someone's awakening or someone was the catalyst to your awakening and now this person is seeing the error of their ways. I feel like someone needs or wants your forgiveness, okay? For some of you all, you could even be finding out that there's a Taurus or a Libra or another Pisces that could be talking shit about you. Someone could also be planning your demise when it comes to your stability. I feel like for some of you all, you feel as if you can't practice. Some of y'all could also be living with someone who makes you feel judged regarding your spiritual beliefs or someone's giving you an ultimatum like leave that damn altar the fuck alone leave them cards alone leave that alone and your ass gotta get the fuck up out of here i'm i'm literally hearing trust in you have a little bit more faith because a lot of you all this is also a test of your faith but it's thrusting your ass out because a lot of you all it's thrusting you into your purpose it may seem as if it's a betrayal right now but i feel like this was the only way that the divine was going to get you to move or another person to move towards you okay for some of you all intuitively you know that the situation is getting ready to end with a sagittarius you know that the situation here with this water sign is over for some of you all this water sign some there's someone that is fearful of rejection when it comes to a reconciliation i feel like someone really doesn't know how to fix the issue especially if this is this this is someone who abandoned you with a child okay i'm also picking up on someone not knowing where how to invest their money Someone could also be like an emotional spender. I'm also picking up on someone. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like you could be taking a break from this individual because this individual likes to cause mental confusion with you. This Capricorn or this Taurus or this damn uh, er, uh, air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel like for some of you all, you're strategically getting ready to move on somebody. And I feel like this could also be someone who's extremely or highly sensitive or highly empathic, okay? You could be highly empathic. I feel like someone's going to reconcile with someone and this is not to... Someone's been nervous about some type of reconciliation. The reconciliation is not for... It's kind of like you guys having, a, having an, um, an opportunity to relive something now that you've evolved. And you have a lot of, a, a lot of more growth and maturity with you. And now that you are in this space on your journey, I am hearing so contract, past life. So this could definitely have something to do with someone who you have a family with. This could also have to do with your family. Also breaking your lineage when it comes to like limiting yourself and what it is that you are worth. What it is that you're able to do. What it is that you're able to create. I feel like if you are an artist, get on that shit because the, 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 the energy here looks brilliant. Especially if you're using your emotions. You're taking that healing space and you're transmuting pain into your power. Because there is a huge oh y'all Pisces this is beautiful it's literally like having a death within self I feel like for some of you all you could be dealing with a Gemini some of y'all could be walking away from a Gemini or uh, someone could actually be setting boundaries when it comes to their beliefs standing up standing in their power standing up for their authenticity I feel like for some of you all if this has to do with a mother figure forgive her and keep because some of you all you're there, there's this there's this sense of going into something with this mindset of I'ma show these hoes, I'ma show these bitches, I'ma show this bitch. You know what I'm saying? But spirit is saying going to this, going to what it is that you do with this because you love what you do. Because it's a part, it's 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 pretty much authentic to your calling. Let the ego fade away is what I'm hearing, okay? For some of y'all, there's a, a strong need to um a strong need to stand up to a air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. This could also have to do with setting boundaries when it comes to someone reconciling um, with the co-parenting situation. There's a Leo they want to see their kids. I feel like this individual, yeah, this individual is trying to find a way to protect their assets. I feel like someone wants you to, to negotiate, but I feel like justice is in your favor when it comes to any type of court case around negotiations. I feel like this person has really gone beyond their goddamn grace period as far as even thinking that you would have the idea of wanting to negotiate with them on their terms. I feel like someone is accepting the fact that they have to compromise with you and they can no longer control the situation with their emotional manipulative asses, okay? I'm also picking up on um, this energy of some of you guys are needing to stop focusing so much on the bag and spend more time with your children, especially if you have a water sign daughter, an earth sign child. 
Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like your children are mediums. They're going through a spiritual awakening. Even though they're younger, some of you all definitely have a lot of starseed children. And I feel like some of you all have a life purpose around starseed children. And I feel like for some of you all, there's a relationship that is holding you up from being successful. Spirit is saying it's inevitable to lift it, to, to, to put this shit by the to leave this shit by the wayside. And I feel like for some of you all, you're getting confirmations and you're seeing a lot of synchronicities around this. I just feel like you're delaying a move because there's this fearful, this there's this fearful outcome. Some of you guys have been getting emotionally manipulated by someone. Some of you have even told you like, you know, you can't move without me. Somebody also, spirit is moving you forward, especially if you're dealing with somebody who's doing some illegal shit because somebody's karma is going to fuck the jail. And I feel like it's coming out of the blue. All right. So let me give you Pisces some advice. Advice from my Pisces for the month of November. What's the advice? Yep. Stop worrying so much about the future. Be grateful. Be present in the now. Allow and allow allow this transformation to happen. Allow this expansion uh, when it comes to the heart chakra, the crown chakra, the third eye chakra. Be patient with yourselves when it comes to healing. Stop being so damn hard on yourself and thinking negatively. This is about yeah, compromise, not control, and understanding that you are the source. Of your fulfillment. You are the source. It's like becoming one. This has to do with an embodiment, honey. Becoming one with the source within self. So that you can shine that light. And exert that love. And that transformative energy outwardly to the collective. Some of you all are shamans. Some of you all also, you're again healers of ages. You've been here before, okay? I feel like the final piece of the puzzle that's going to bring you happiness and fulfillment is here. Abundance is here, okay? It's about work, it's, it's about that shifting of the psyche. That transformation of your mindset. Think bigger, Pisces, okay? Think bigger because abundance is is yours. I definitely feel like whatever it is that you guys start now, abundance follows you guys. I first it's something that I'm hearing about Aquarius season 2021. If you already have your own business and you've been thinking about expanding your business, go with that shit. You're literally receiving inf information strictly from the motherfucking source. Literally. Literally from the source. I feel like there's a need for you all to go into your bubble and stop allowing other people to be distractions to you. Go into your bubble and take care of yourself. Pamper yourself. Heal yourself. Transform yourself. Embody the water goddess that nurtures the earth. Embody that energy. The water god. You are a healer, my baby. Stop running from your purpose and get more in tune with you. So that you can actually exert that energy out to others. This is about embodiment, my baby. And you Pisces, Pisces the motherfucking God. Period. Alright? So I pray that this message resonates. You guys, please let me know um, in the comments how it does. I love you all a long time. I pray that this message finds you with love. And I will see you guys here for mid-November. Love y'all.